everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll related videos every single day, and today's video is going to be a doll hunt. So here's the doll hunt footage. Creep over party, please. Or shout out high series to him. I'll take either. So this is the post Christmas aftermath at this Walmart. Honestly, it's pretty well stocked. I'm surprised, but everything is everywhere. And then I found, oh yeah, there's a whole store display here, the original Shadow High store display, which I want this whole display so bad, but it wouldn't fit in the car even if I could get it. Um, and they have some Series 3, which generally is on clearance right now, um, but the app isn't working and I don't know if they have price scanners. So um, I just have to cut my losses, but it's okay. Um, she was just here. This is, there's gonna be a lot of resetting to do. Um, yeah. That I would show you. I'm just looking for Shadow, or um, I'm looking for Monster High. Like, I'm looking for a creepover party, and they just don't exist. It's so irritating, but it's okay. I'll find them eventually. Um, but I keep forgetting which Walmart is the worst Walmart in the whole world, and it's this one. Like, I keep forgetting which one it is, and you can't really mark it on the map. Oh, oh, well, worst Walmart in the world. I'm so excited to have found these. So the way you do this is that there's little symbols if you're not used to na -na So like this one, for example, I think is the rabbit. I just looked up the guide so I know which ones I want and which ones I don't want. Oh, they forgot to take these out. Um, but, you know, so I want this one. This is the one that Zach gifted me. Um, and yeah, exciting. Woohoo, let's go. It's super cold in here, look. <laughs> it's cute. Um, we're a dirt cheap in Birmingham. This one, in my experience, is like god-awful, so I just don't even come here. But I wanted to come before Christmas to see if it's better around that time, because it seems like they get a ton of shipments. I'm surprised though, everything's still 70% off. Um, just kind of, the signs are wrong because none of the sections are right. Okay, these are, I don't have her, but opened. I'd have to check if she has everything. Um, yeah, this is just so weird because the normal toy section, which is up front, is like not there anymore. So I don't really know what's going on. So it's like actually freezing in here. <laughs> and I left my jacket in the car because I... Oh. Yay, this is what I wanted. Sweet, they actually have her. Okay, so I need to find one that actually has her stuff. Oh, are they all missing the shoes? No. You got shoes. Oh, her stuff's set upside down. Okay, you're the only one with shoes. Ooh. Well, <laughs> sort of. I guess I could put those in any of them if the face is wrong. Yeah. Her face is not great. All right, I'm just gonna have to play mix and match here. Well, I'm happy because my goal today has already been met. Well, I, I have lots of goals, but this was something I was particularly excited about um, and hoping would still be left here, but I didn't get to come before Christmas, so I'm just happy. Okay, and then let's see what they have. I haven't seen Dream Seekers of these stores. Oh, there's Lyric's outfit. Who are you? Gabby, yay! I don't have any doubles of Gabby. Well, I have one. You guys know the situation with her. Um, these are 70% off, so capitalizing. Oh, Poppy. Do have a double of her, I'm pretty sure anyway. Um, check my pictures, I guess. Um, and for junior high, I don't know. I'm not as inclined to get the doubles. If they happen upon me, then sure. I want this furniture set though. I don't have any of these. Or is it furniture? Yeah, it is. I want this. I want this. These are really cool. It's a doll and furniture. Yay! Ooh, I want to get that for Brent. Cool. Oh, it's a ton of these evolution sets. I can't believe how much is still left at the store. Ooh, I dropped my thing. My store's wiped out. I'm just really surprised. Sweet. So it seems like they've just moved their toy section because now these aisles, some of them have toys, and then this one does, which this was clearance before. Clearance, can you believe it, at the store? Um, and then this wall used to be toys too, but there used to be two toy sections. So this is just very interesting. Music's really loud, so I don't know if I could actually use this. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of stuff. It's very, very messy. But, I mean, pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff that like my store doesn't get, so I'm like, where, what's the difference here? Like, why do some stores seem to get Walmart stock and some get Target and some get like, I've had some get Sam's stock before. Like, what's the, it's very interesting. Maybe each store has its own sources, I have no idea. All right, I'm at the Super Target. I'm not sure if I've been this, to this one, to be honest, which is weird, but it's kind of in a weird location, but it's not out of the way or anything. Why is there salt out? Is that what that is? Didn't really snow, whatever. Let's go. Yeah, so I've definitely never been to this one. It's one of those ones with like the big R generation section, which I haven't seen in a long time. Kind of looks like the one back home in Houston. I miss Houston. Um, but anyway, um, hmm, this is a really weird one. Well, maybe they'll have something interesting at girls night out. All right, let's see what's going on. 
dang, I really wanted to get the, um, the truck, the camper, whatever it is, the, the stage, <laughs> sorry, brain fart, but, um, I want to get that because it's on sale on Amazon right now, so, tentpole place, uh, yeah, I want the Rainbow Vision bus, but they don't have it, that's why I came to this one that's kind of in a weird location, it's Monster High, but they don't get creep over here for whatever reason, um, stock's not too bad here, I mean, <laughs> whatever was on the side is gone, oh, Series 3 of the Meme Mat. Oh my god. Where where did this come from? These weren't even announced yet, I don't think. Cool. Look at all the mini brands, too. Mini Fashion 2. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Okay. So they only have three of them. Well, I will be buying all of them, so. Ooh. And I guess I'll take the display, too. Might as well. Somebody left the other one, anyway. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to really peruse this section to see if there's more. Wow, this was a good find. Cool. All right, this Walmart's like super busy, but let's see what's going on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, sorry, there's so many people I can't be loud. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> Finally, you know how long I've been looking for this? And it's on clearance, too. Come on, come on. Yes. Oh my god, the Rainbow High Skateboard. Yes. Oh my god, okay. So, ooh, Miniverse. That's a good sign if they have something relatively new. There's Mini Fashion 2. Um, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Hello, Twyla. <gasps> Yo. Finally, I was just about to order these online, too. <gasps> oh my gosh, I think I want this one. Yeah, she looks really good. Okay, put it on my skateboard. Um, oh my gosh. And then Claudine, do they have more? Claudine, hi, baby. Okay, I'm gonna put her back in a second. I just wanna pick one. She looks so good. Oh, the makeup's really different on this one, actually. Cute, okay. And now, well, this isn't even, like, what is this section? Is this, like, Christmas overflow? Hmm, okay, well, this is an awkward thing to have to carry. <laughs> okay, let's go. Rainbow High skateboard in tow. I can't believe I found the skateboard, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we got some end caps. <laughs> oh, hello. There's those again. Cool. <gasps> oh my god, Frankie, 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 Frankie. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. I found Dracula. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, oh my god. Yes. Score. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Sorry, I've been looking for these for so long with to no avail. There's just so many monster high dolls here. This is crazy. All right, I'm gonna look through these. It's gonna be a while because the Dracula, I'm very particular about Dracula's face. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't believe I found the whole line. Oh, these two. Well, this is where all the monster high dolls in Birmingham went. <laughs> cool. This is in Hoover, I think, by the way. And now it's time for the haul. So a lot of this stuff is going to get its own video, but I wanted to do like a full compilation haul so that you guys could see all the different doll hunts put together because I know you guys like this sort of video. Um, and I'm so excited. So I went to Dirt Cheap, Walmart, and Target. Several walmarts and targets but um i'm so excited to share with you guys what i got i got a lot of stuff that i've been looking for for a long time so oh and some things that i was just like oh my gosh i did not expect to find this today so i'm really excited so yeah let's get started so the first store that i went to was dirt cheap and um it was so sweet there um there was i don't normally go to that dirt cheap just because every time i go it's awful i think i've only ever bought something there once like i never find anything um but i went because my dirt cheap in my area is so packed with stuff because of christmas so i was thinking like pr all the dirt cheaps probably are and this one still was completely stocked mine is pretty much wiped out but this one was like really really full the one in birmingham so i was really excited about that and Rainbow High is clearly very popular. They go very fast. So I managed to get two Rainbow High dolls, but I'm very excited about the ones that I found. So I got Gabby, and these dolls were 70% off. She was missing her outfit, and I'm pretty sure the cashier gave me a discount because she pointed out that the outfit was missing and then typed something on the computer. So uh, if so, thank you. Um, and I'm so excited because I did not have an extra of Gabby. I mean, I do. It, I got her a dirt cheap and her head is off and she's going to be a, her whole own custom project and she's probably not going to be Gabby anymore. So I'm excited to have an extra Gabby to basically wear the second outfit on my display. And I think Gabby's really underrated. I really want to like bond with her a little bit more. So I'm excited to um, see this one. Also, I really like to see different variants and I only have the original Gabby and that one without the head that I have not... Um, <laughs> processed yet I guess she's still in the box because that's gonna be its own video and I'm planning somewhat to do a collab with that video you'll see um but isn't she so pretty I don't know 
I think especially these later release Gabby's that um, everybody on like Twitter is always posting are like gorgeous. So I'm really excited to have this one. She does have her extra shoes and yeah, she was 70% off. So ridiculously cheap. And then this is the other rainbow high doll that I found. This was the one that I was specifically going to dirt cheap to get. So I'm really excited that they actually had her. So this is Lyric. My store only got Vanessa and Carmen. I have an extra Carmen and I have an extra Vanessa and I have an extra Carmen out of box. I don't have an extra Vanessa out of box. I don't have an extra Lyric at all. This one's box is absolutely shredded though. So this is going to be an out of box extra. Um, also the shoes were missing, but this was just loose so I put it in here um because this one had the best face and this one I'm excited about restyling as well I actually don't hate Lyric a lot of people really hate her um my original Lyric that I got was actually really pretty and I really enjoy her but I'm excited to restyle her and see if I can like bond with her more if I can find like a more suitable outfit for her I think she's really interesting and I really like her hair color blend so hopefully that will give me some inspiration and now I've also opened up Pandora's box because I've started actually painting dolls so um, I'm very excited to see where that goes, so I'm even more pumped about getting doubles now. Um, although I'm not gonna, like, buy more than usual, because I have a huge backlog of them, obviously, but if I find them for good prices, I'm gonna grab them. That's why I love this dirt cheap store. Um, so when I first moved to Alabama in, um, May and the month before that, I had come here to the house hunt and we went to dirt cheap, and the dirt cheap stores were amazing at that time, and then after I moved here, um, around, like, the summer and onward, it sucked like they never had anything so I think <laughs> in the springtime I'll have a lot of good finds and of course in the winter when all the Christmas stuff is here but after that I think it's gonna get really dry again so the dirt cheap hauls will very much slow down and then I got this bag of stuff and this is all stuff that my store just doesn't have well this other stores have which I keep leaving this behind so this is one of the cutie reveal Barbies and I really liked this one the cat one I bought her and did a review on her when they first came out and I really liked her and I was like why am I not well the reason I don't normally buy them is because this cow comes off really easily so they tend to be open and I want to have the full set um so I actually have the panda one incomplete that I got a dirt cheap for like three dollars because she was missing I think she had her panda costume but she was missing her head like the panda head not not her head head um so I grabbed this one because 70 percent off and I want her anyway. So I'm like, why was I not buying them before? Um, and I never find the rabbit one. I'd like to get the rabbit one too. But anyway, Cutie Reveal is really cute. I don't know if they're worth $25 each, but they're certainly worth 70% off of $25, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, they're worth, I would pay like $15 for these very happily. Um, so I'm very happy to have gotten the discount that I did. Um, and then, I haven't bought any My Little Pony G5 stuff in a while, but these sets I hadn't seen before. G5 is being stocked really strangely, isn't it? Uh, so this is a Sunny set, and the reason I bought this one is because I don't have an Alicorn Sunny, and this is an Alicorn Sunny. So, uh, I guess that's a spoiler, but this has been out for a while, but she's not always an Alicorn, she just, like, gains it sometimes, right? I don't know, I haven't watched Make Your Mark yet, and I really need to, but... Anyway, grabbed this set. I'm still a My Little Pony collector, and these were, you know, 70% off, so... That, that's a good deal. And then this is an Izzy set. And this one's very interesting. So I really like these furniture sets a lot, like this sort of thing. When G4 would do these, I would always snatch them up because they're so fun. And this one's like, you create the little forest creatures. It's some kind of little craft set. So I thought that was really adorable too. So excited to do that at some point. Very, very cute. Very behind on G5 releases, but they're not releasing other characters really. And that's the reason I like My Little Pony and, like, my favorite thing to do when I'm collecting them is to get all the different characters. I don't want 45 Izzy characters, you know. I want, like, variety. So hopefully G5 starts doing more characters because there are other characters in the show. It's kind of weird. I don't know. But these were legit, like, less than $5. So that was a score. <laughs> and then the last thing that I got, I was really excited about this because I have one of these sets already, not a winter one. So this is the winter chill um, hangout space. And these are cool because they come with the doll and the furniture. Um, I have one that came with the Dawn and it was like this cool hammock set. And I was extremely impressed with that set. The furniture for these is so cute and you can use it for your LOLs. It also fits for any other doll that's about that size. I use them for the littlest pet shops and I think they're perfect. Um, so I'm really excited about this one. These are so cool. So I can't wait to see um, which doll we get and also which furniture set we get. And I think these are specifically like made for the dollhouse that I don't have, but I, do I need the house to put them in? No, I just, I'm really excited about this. And um, so these retail for 15, so, you know, 70% off. 
good deal. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so that's all the stuff that I got at Dirty. Well, I also got this Pokemon set, but I gave it to Brad and he already opened it, but it's like the Evolutions, but they're like in this really pretty shiny paint, which is kind of like when the Rainbow High first came out, that really shiny highlighter paint that they used. I don't know. It was super, super cute, and he's really excited about that set. Although the Pokemon stuff, I'm pretty sure is going to end up being displayed in my room, so <laughs> I guess it'll end up in my office, but whatever. All right, I went to Target as well. I only got two things at Target, so I found more of Daphne's shoes. I found Daphne's shoes the other day, and I bought them because I finally found the color of box that Daphne's shoes come in because there's only one shoe possibility in the mint green box, but it's hard to tell which is the mint green box because... It's it skews very blue, so you can confuse it with Gabby's box and also the other teal box. I don't know. It's a little difficult. But if you have the whole container, you can really tell. Because the problem is that now they're dumping... The way I found these and the other ones, they dump them into a big bin together as like a stocking stuffer thing. And I'm like, no, that makes it hard to see. But I figured it out because all the shoes were in there so I could like compare them. But... Anyway, I got more Daphne shoes because I think they will be super useful for restyles. And I really like all the fabric shoes. And since these ones are really easy to find, even without the guide, just grabbed them. Um, so I have, I think that's the only, those are the only fabric shoes that I have the doubles of, which that's fine. Because these were the ones that were evading me forever. I could not find these. So I'm very happy that I finally did. And then I also found these. We already unboxed them. These are the um, Me Meows things. They are, I think they're a YouTuber's merch line. Like, or they're just the person who has the YouTube channel happened to create them with a toy company. I don't know, but these are so adorable. I think they're made by Bonkers Toys. Yeah, they're made by Bonkers Toys. I really, really like these. Um, and I can finally spill the secret. When me and Lookin' and Bratz were at Holiday of Play, they actually showed us the prototype pictures of these, and I've been keeping it secret ever since. I did not expect these to come out so soon. I haven't heard anything about them, but I found Litter 3. So um, it's been months since I last saw them, so I'm really excited to have them. So I found these three. They only had three. There were only two in the, I got the display too. Um, there were two in the display and then there was one just out on a shelf somewhere. And I found the one that was on the shelf first. Um, but I got this one that's like chocolate themed. And then I got this one, which is, one is strawberry shortcake theme and one is cherry something themed. I'm thinking this is the strawberry one and this is the cherry one. Yeah. Cause these look like cherries. Um, these are super, super cute. Brett, Brett absolutely loves them too. Um, I personally, I really like the plushies, but I prefer the little figures. So hopefully they make more of those because they're really cute. Just little cats, just perfect little cat friends. And I really like that the store display, if you can get it, um, it's one of those ones that every time the store gets a shipment of these, the display comes with it. So they just throw away the display because they get a new one next time. Um, you can display them in there really nicely. And I don't know. I really like these. I think they're really well designed. They're adorable. They're made out of a nice material. So I love them. All right, then I went to a lot of, I dropped one. I went to a lot of Walmart stores and I found, spoiler, um, I found stuff at one store. I didn't find anything at any other store, um, but we had quite the haul at this one store that I went to and I'm so excited about it. So, um, okay, well, first I'll show you what I just spoiled. I finally, well, you guys saw the doll hunt already, um, but I found Creepover Party, finally. I've been looking for these for months. They have just not been turning up. And I think these are actually being stocked at Target now. Um, but if you live in an area in, that um, these aren't showing up in, they're on Entertainment Earth. They're for pre-order that I think will be in January. And I'll put the links below. I'm an Entertainment Earth affiliate, so it supports the channel. So put that down below if you guys are interested in these. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to do the reviews of these two. Oh, I just realized I have another Walmart bag. I'm sorry. I did find stuff at Walmart before I found these. And you guys saw it in the video, but I'll show you um, in just a second. But anyway, I'm so excited about Creepover Party been dreaming of these these are amazing so here's frankie here's draculaura which it's really hard to find a draculaura with a good face so um because they had quite a few but um it took a while to finally pick one um, i guess draculaura is the new sculpt that's gonna have problems um and then we found claudine who's so cute so i found claudine and twyla first they were in one area i was so shocked to find them i'm so excited these are so cool i really hope the play sets start showing up in stores um g3 is having a weirdly um <laughs> ronaldo just sneezed bless you honey um g3 is having a terrible distribution for some reason like they're having a really hard time getting these to stores um and even online sources they're having trouble so i don't really know what's going on with that but um i really enjoy them and yeah so there's twyla i love twyla i'm really excited to have another twyla doll so let me know which one of these reviews you want to see first or would you like to see them all in one video if it's one video it'd be really long and 
but you know if you prefer that also i got this pony wedding rarity in box my um at the christmas party one of my friends gave me this because we're going to be doing an Equestria Girls group and she was like I want to give everybody something of a character they were cosplaying and I was like this is so fitting actually because I have the original Rarity like the first release one in box so now I have the second this I'm pretty sure this was the second single release of Rarity the Pony Wedding but this was forever ago and this is just off the top of my head um but yeah this was really cool so I was like thank you oh my gosh and she was like oh I'm sorry you already have that one and I was like no 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 like I I have Rarity but not this one it's a different box she comes with a purse instead of a she gave me the bird originally, right? Anyway, that was cool. Sorry, that just happened to be the Walmart bag. So excited. And then also at this Walmart, the search is finally over. I found it, the Rainbow High Skateboard. Brett saw this when he woke up because I got home at like 1 or 2 a.m. Um, but when he woke up, he saw this and he was like, did someone give that to you? And I was like, no, I found it at Walmart and it was on clearance. Look at it. I got it. I got it. I got it. The Rainbow High Skateboard. I have been wanting this so bad. So bad. Because this is just, like, unhinged merchandise. I needed to have it. Like, a bicycle is a little too far. That takes up a lot of space. And it's kind of expensive. But a skateboard is perfect. I love this thing so much. I kind of want to actually use it. But but anyway, I've been hunting for this thing for probably a year at this point. Because that's what Brett said. He was like, I can't believe you found it in a store considering. And I'm like, I know. Because I've been looking for this thing forever. Because I'm pretty sure it came out last Christmas season, right? I don't even know. But it's my Rainbow High Skateboard. It's finally mine. Yay. I had this whole plan for once I found it in stores, I was going to do some goofy thing. Like, Brett would have to be with me to film, though. But I was going to, like, skateboard through the store on it proudly. Because I'm the proud mother of the Rainbow High Skateboard. But it never came to fruition. Maybe that's for the best. Just not be a public nuisance, but I'm so happy. <laughs> Sorry, I really wanted this thing. Um, yeah, so um, it was only at one Walmart, and I believe me, I've checked like every Walmart in any place that I've lived, and I never found this thing. So, um, but keep looking, keep looking for the Rainbow High Skateboard. I'm just so happy. the The search has concluded for the Rainbow High Skateboard. Um, I don't feel the inclined to buy, like, every single piece of Rainbow High merchandise, but, like, a skateboard. Yeah, I needed that. Needed it. Okay. <laughs> and then this stuff was actually the first stuff that I found during my trip today, and I'm so excited. I found the Not Enough Surprise Minis. So, by the way, these retail for under $10. They are $9.97, so basically $10. Um, and I just bought a few of them. I'm not sure if I necessarily, like, feel the need to collect them all, but I grabbed the rabbits and the cats. And you can look up guides but i'll make a video about these if you guys want to see it and i'll show you which one's which with the little they have little stickers so they're not fully blind which is very appreciated so like um i don't remember who the little shine was but i know this snowflake is this rabbit um who i really wanted i was interested in that one and these are so darling they're also making play sets soon i think not and not dolls have like really strong designs but the price that they had to be to be the quality that they were because not and not dolls are like stocking at dolls almost they're really nice um didn't really i don't know it didn't connect with audiences i feel so i'm really glad that mga is giving them another chance through these minis and i really hope these minis succeed because i really like them um so if they succeed i found a kit kat i also bought candy um <laughs> I, I really hope these succeed because I personally really like them and I really want to see what else they do with these and they already have a lot of great designs to work with and I don't know these are really cool it's a fun way to continue the Nana Na brand and I'm really grateful that MGA decided to keep them going because I'm pretty sure I've made two videos at this point that were like the last Nana Na surprise dolls and they just keep coming back and I appreciate it please continue I like Nana Na a lot um I know they're not um, everyone's favorites and I hate that these blind bags are specifically using like the original series where almost every single character was um the palest skin tone possible there were a few that were slightly darker um so that's very unfortunate their excuse at the time when this happened I remember they were saying like well it's really hard to do it on the stockinette fabric if you do the darker skin tone it's hard to get the features to show and I don't they managed to do it eventually, which is great, but it's kind of frustrating how many MGA lines recently have done that, where they just release, like, I don't know, it's 2022, I don't think you need to do that anymore. Or I guess when these came out, it was like 2020 or something, but, or be if it was before that, it was a while ago, but anyway, I digress. Um, I really hope these continue and we can see the later characters included that, you know, done better. Um, but yeah, I love Na 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 a lot, they're really cool. Just really cool dolls, really sweet. They're just basically like gajinkas of animals and it's adorable. Anyway.
that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, I'm excited about all of my finds and um, hopefully you guys can find some good deals for the remainder of the little Christmas sales that are still kind of sticking around a little bit. Um, or you can find some new releases if that's what you're looking for. I am so grateful that Creepover Party is finally becoming available. Like, people are actually finding it now. I felt so lucky when I found them, but it was the same day a bunch of other people had posted that they found them, and I'm like, okay, maybe a shipment just went out. Like, I thought I just got really lucky, but I don't think so. I think they're just in stores now, so start checking your Walmarts. But Target is also actually stocking them, it seems now. They're at least on the website today. I think that was this morning, so there's that. Anyway, that's it for this video. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye!